Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video here, we successfully created our another table as a block table. So right now I want to do in our sidebar, into the sidebar I want to create another menu. Like right now I want to do and to copy it. So that means here I want to simply make it as a um, two field. Two field will be enough and that will be as a block, right? So that will be as a block page. I make it as a block page and for the block page that will be the same. I want to name it as a all block. And also another will be as a add block right add block perfect first of all I want to do and to get all the data from our database from our mm, the block table so right now I don't have any data but right now I want to, to take it so if you want to take it then what exactly you have to do our process will be just like that same I want to create another route okay I want to create another route and I just put that route name okay I put that route name as all block okay, so then that will be as all block and also we have to create another controller for this simply I want to create another controller okay just simply create that a PHP artisan and then make controller and in our um, home okay into the home folder I want to create new controller as a blog controller okay name it as a block controller now that is our command I hope you already know how to create that uh, controller now if you click as enter now that should be you can see artisan spelling is mistake so here if you make it as a PHP artisan make controller and then in our home I want to create as a blog controller okay so that will be as a block controller as a PHP artisan make controller home into the home folder now it will be created one of the new controller as a block controller so now if you click as enter yeah our controller created successfully now that is our block controller our first job is we have to do we have to make uh, use it in our web right so into this web area I want to do and to take another one that will be into the same folder in our home folder I have created a new controller name as a block controller now that will be as a block controller now also I want to create another group route better I copy it and after that our category that is a block all category I have already complete our total code application and after that I paste it so that will be our blog okay that will be the blog blog all route and also here we have to load our controller name our controller name I have created as a block controller so that will be the block controller also I have used it right now our first job is we have to add that our add page now if you go to our sidebar into the sidebar I name one of the route name as a all block I copy it so that will be as a all block route name and then I put our URL our URL will be as a all block okay and also I want to create one of the new method okay here I want to create another new method that will be as a all I make it as a all and then block okay all block great perfect now we have to create our all block in our block controller so that process will be just like that same in our portfolio controllers better I want to copy it from here you can see there is the same things better I copy total method I copy this method as I told you that will be just like our portfolio um, portfolio controller which where I have already complete our total part right so that will be very easy right now I copy it now in our block controller here I want to do and to paste it so after right now first of all we have to do have to change our name or right now our method name I name it as a all block in our block controller so into this block controller I want to do I want to use it as a all block and then also we need to add our mm, model so first of all I want to turn to better copy some of the things which will be needed I copy it and then here I want to turn to paste it I simply loaded our model name our model name here I have already created our model name as a blog right so now that will be as a blog I simply loaded this blog and then I use that images and also I use that as illuminate support and then the carbon okay so carbon is used for um, using that uh, time I have already discussed about that things with you now first of all I want to done to take one of the variable and I just name it as a blog okay I make it as a blocks and then our model name as a blog with this model we can able to access our database that is our table as a blocks table right into this block table I want to get that latest all the data now that will be written redirect we have to create another folder okay we have to create another folder as a blocks and then I want to do to create another file as a blocks all then I get all that our data take the things with this variable now here I pass it in our block great perfect so now I want to do to create our folder name as a block in our admin folder now go to our view 
right now that is our view and into this admin folder i want to create another new folder and i just name it as a blocks okay so now the, into the blocks folder i want to create another file as a blocks all into the block folder i want to create on the new file click as a save as and name it as a blocks all dot blade dot php okay now i simply save it perfect so that will be just like our one of the data table will be loaded right i have already loaded the same things in our portfolio if you go to that our all portfolio right now i copy everything from here and now in our blog here i paste it right friend now i want to done to customize it for our blog like that will be as a blog all okay that will be as a blog or blocks all whatever you choose now i want to do and that will be blocks all data so for the blocks all here if you go to our database right now there is a category will be loaded title will be loaded image will be loaded block tags right and description i don't want to display the description only that block category so i make it as a serial number and then that will be as a block category okay i name it as a blog category so that will be a block category and we need that our block title and block tags and block image right i want to don't to make it as a block title that will be as a blog okay block title and then that will be as a block Im image better i want to take another field okay if take another field that will be as a blog tags tags perfect now i want to do i want to load that block category block title block tags and then that will be as a block image okay so now i make it as a blog image and then that will be as a action perfect perfect now our into the for each loop area now we have to visible it so i hope you already know that procedure i have already get all the data i have take the things with our variable as a blocks and with the compact method i pass that block in our blocks all page now we have to do have to receive all the data by the blocks so in our for each loop is started and that is our ended now i make it as a our blocks i hope friend at that point you already get that all that process how that functionality actually executed right that means laravel functionality executed now i get that all data in here i make it as item so as i told you friend if you want to change any name you can change it right now for better understanding i'm using that item okay so now first of all we have to display our serial number so that is a serial number then i want to display the category so now that is the one of the trick friend like that is our block category if you go here you can see that is, that should be one of the id so i want to do uh, when if you go to our another table another table i have created as a blog right if you go to our database i have already created another one that will be as a block category here i want to visible our block category name okay so I, literally everything will be more clear because in our block category that is the id so this id will be inserted in, in our block category block category id okay so right now i want to do and to visible the same name literally we will create one of the relationship between two of this table and then we will get that our block category name data okay that is name that is the name i want to display so right now i want to do that will be with our item i want to display our database field name as a block category id and then that will be our title right better i want to copy it and then i paste it so after that that will be as a title our title field name if you go in our blocks table our title field name as a block title i copy it that will be as a block title and also i want to display the block tags so that will be as a block tags and then the image for the images i name it field as a block image i copy it so then that will be as a block image with this item i want to access our block image great great and also that's all so now that is our edit and then delete functionality now that should be display okay friends so now that's all if you now click as a save all and now if you go to our page in our back in now click as a refresh now that should be loaded another one as a block page and that is our all block okay right now i don't have any data but you can see our field is visible as a serial number block category block title block tags images and then that is our action button so now we have to do we have to insert this data right now they have no data for the reasons it's now display as a blank so in our next video i want to discuss about how to add some of the blog okay how to add blog in our database table in our next video i will show you that things with a live example so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video